Now, CBS 4 News exclusive. For the first time, a Miami mother is telling her story about the loss of her three of her children in a house fire. A fourth child also died, and now there are new questions about whether they've been left at home alone for a while. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami tonight with the update. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay Jasmine Fernandez tells us this fire broke out when she was at work. An 11-year-old youngster was watching her three children because their grandmother had gone to a nearby store for some groceries. Now, Fernandez tells me that she trusted the grandmother completely and never thought something like this would ever happen. My children mean the world to me. Um, honestly, they're not here. I feel like I have no no reason to be here. Jasmine Fernandez is struggling to cope with the loss of four youngsters, including her three children, in the December 30th fire at her Miami home. It, it's hard. It's hard. I did everything for my kids. I worked for my kids. Um, I lived for my kids. I breathed for my kids. And she clutches her children's blankets, including the one that eight-year-old Nainali Lopez had when she died at the hospital. This is the blanket that she had on. <laughs> So it, it mean they mean a lot to me. They're they're what was last on my children. They still have their sense. So I carry them everywhere I go. It has been so difficult. I've done everything with my kids. Um, I'm just I'm, I don't know how I'm standing honestly, but I'm here. The children's grandmother left them alone as she had done before to get groceries at a nearby store. I trust her with my life. I trust her with my children. Family attorney Carlos Silva is concerned, though, that this search warrant affidavit reveals a smoke detector was installed after the fire by someone and made to look like it had burned marks. The family was renting the home. What I really think is important is to find out what caused this fire, what took the life of these four kids, uh, and whether it's a pr defective product that was in the home or an electrical failure. In the final moments, the oldest child called the grandmother and said while screaming, there was a fire in the house and they were trapped. My only question is why me? Why my children? That's all I, you know, that's, that's my only question that I have day in and day out in my head. And that may haunt her forever. Jasmine Fernandez hopes for a thorough investigation by Miami Police and Fire Rescue and the State Fire Marshal's Office. At this point, it is not known if any charges will ultimately be filed in relation to the smoke detector. We are live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.